Amen. And you know, here's another uh, verse that really touches me about this. Um, because a lot of times we see the darkness and we think that we have no, no control over it, that we have no authority over it. But Jesus gave, the risen Jesus gave a really interesting uh, mandate to Paul, which applies to every believer as well. He said, I now send, this is in Acts 28, uh, 17 to 18. I now send you to open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and an inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in me. So we see it's very dark around us. Well, there we have a clear command. We need to go and turn them. Right. And now that's done in a cooperation with the Holy Spirit. But this is a doctrine that we've lost in these days. Right. People like, like the Booths, um, John Wesley, the revivalists of prior ages, they had this doctrine clear in their minds that they have a duty to seek to turn people to God. Right. A lot of times, in, because it's so funny, American culture, a lot of times we'll make fun of other cultures, maybe Latin culture, they can be so passionate in everything. So their worship is just like up to 11, you know, <laughs> and we see ourselves in America all casual. We think that's normal. No, our churches are casual because American culture is casual. That's not spiritual maturity. That's your culture seeping in. Um, and we have also let that casuality slip into our ideas about evangelism because mm -hmm. now we're just waiting for God to do absolutely everything. And we've forgotten that, you know, Jesus said, well, it's day. I've got to work. Right. He was the son of God. He didn't send his disciples to go out and sit on a bench and wait for people to come to him. Think about it. Right. He sent them out. He gave them a clear mission and he gave it to us too. He said, go into all the world and make disciples of all nations. And so listen, that's your, my, that's your mandate and my, my mandate. Listen to it and just let it soak in for a second. Listen to the, this word is, this verse is Jesus's words to you right now. He says to you, I now send you to open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and an inheritance among those who are sanctified by, by faith in me. Jesus did not spill his blood so that the people all around us could go to hell. He spilt his blood so the people could be saved. But he says that we're his ambassadors. Right. And Paul uses the language that we work together him with him in this harvest. So we're co-laborers. And so let's take that call. Let's take it seriously. I find that, unfortunately, it's very few people who do. And if you are one of those people who takes it seriously, I want to encourage you to keep taking it seriously because everyone around you is going to come at you like a bull. And they're going to say, why are you being so direct about the gospel? Not that we need to be uh, rude or, or overbearing or anything like that, but they'll come to you. Why are you, you know, always going up to people and talking about Jesus? Well, because you want to follow Jesus, because you love Jesus, because you want to honor him with your life. Um, so if we want to fulfill this call, it's, there's going to be some pushback until the day we die. You know, um, Paul said, anyone who wants to live a righteous life, is going to be persecuted. Right. And that includes even in the church today and the church that is so, so much of the church is so tepid. So Tim, you know, timid and lukewarm. If you step out and try to be a normal Christian, like a biblical Christian, trust me, you're going to get pushback. So just right. like there was, there was a guy who said, if you're going to preach repentance, you better pledge your head to heaven. And that's the truth. Hey, I'm Brian Weller with Message Ministries. Has this video inspired you? Do you think others need to hear this message? Please let us know you're watching. Like our video, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to click the notifications bell. And that way you'll also help others to see our content. And don't forget to check out our website, sharegodshope.com, where you can learn all about our missions work worldwide. God bless you as you share God's hope.